Hey, what's up? My fish have been way too mean to each other, so we're gonna rearrange the tank, remove some of those mean fish out, and add some new fish in to help settle the tank down. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so here you guys can see we have Madoka white lips, which are the big blue guys with white lips. Um, pretty self-explanatory. We also have the Demasoni, which are the black and blue striped fish in here. Then we have the yellow labs, which are the yellow and black cichlids in here. There are also some catfish. So the problem is, is that the fish are having way too many territories where the males are taking up too many spots in the tank and not allowing other fish to comfortably swim throughout the tank. And this is becoming an issue as a lot of the fish are getting picked on. Some of the fish can't rest. For the yellow labs, there's way too many males to the point where I have like five or six dominant males taking up territories in the tank, as well as the demasoni. So for demasoni, you typically want to have a larger colony um, as they are quite aggressive towards each other. And then you can remove a lot of the males um, once they've matured enough to be able to tell them apart from male and female. Yellow labs aren't too much of an issue because they're not that aggressive. However, now, since the mason and I are older, it's easier to tell. And there's a lot of males taking up territories within the tank and just forcing a lot of the other fish to move around them. So now we're gonna go in and remove those males and bring them to the store for credit. So don't worry about that. All right, so I got most of the males out of the tank and into the bucket, so perfect for them to go back to the store. I have this little air stone in here, so they are doing more than fine. All right, so the tank is drained about halfway. I removed all the volcanic rocks, so it's easier to catch the fish out. And now I'm just trying to figure out which ones are still males or females, and if I need to remove any other fish while it's drained. The difficult part is being able to tell the males and females for the demasoni. Uh, other than size, it's really hard to determine which is which. So I'm just double checking and then removing any from the bucket that I might still think are females. I generally want more females than males to spread the aggression out and to have the ratio about like one to three, one male to three or four females um, comparatively and then leave a couple of males in like three or more males so that the aggression of the males isn't targeted towards one or against each other. Because if you just have two, they'll probably just chase each other throughout the tank the whole time. So now I'll catch the rest of them and you guys will see what scape I decide to go with. All right guys, so let's go ahead and add my Madoka white lips that I've been growing out in my 40 gallon breeder. I showed this off in my fish room tour the other day. These fish should easily be accepted into the tank, especially because I'm adding three or more of them. And I reset all the territories and hierarchies with removing the rocks and some of the aggressive fish and the larger males. So they should easily be incorporated into the tank and even though some are smaller that shouldn't be much of an issue because oftentimes the larger fish won't concern themselves with the smaller fish unless they're like looking for a quick meal but none of the fish can fit these guys in their mouth and because they're not really a threat trying to take any of the females they should easily be added into the tank all right guys so we got some of the males removed we added the madoka white lips and we rearranged the tank so let's take a look at it and see how well it's doing behind me all right, so now it's been about 24 hours, 48 hours since the tank's been set up and the tank is cleared up a bit. I've just fed them, um, so the, don't mind the cloudiness, but as you can see, there's a lot of the fish out. You can see them easier. The Demace and I seem to be doing well. The Yellow Labs, there's quite a few of them. Now there's only like one larger male who's in that corner right now. And the rest are either females or sub-adult males. And then, the Madoka White Lips seems to be doing well. You have quite a few. The little ones that I added that I was growing out are doing well. They seem to adjust pretty nicely. All right, let me take a step back so you guys can see the full tank. You have a lot more swimming room for the Madoka White Lips, which I think they're appreciating a lot more um, because they weren't able to turn around too much and there's not a lot of fish holding territories. The only territory that I've noticed is the big yellow lab male claim the area back there, which is fine, but they have like a few spots or dig pits, but it's not like individual areas where none of the other fish can enter or swim around comfortably. I really like these like little uh, safe havens for fry and catfish because, you know, now you can see where all the fry are before. They were just hiding amongst the rocks and you couldn't really see them. Uh, as you can see, there's a catfish right there with his little whiskers out. The Madoka white lips are re looking really quite stunning. This male up at the front, he was picked on from before I removed the other guys but he should heal easily. But he is really, really stunning. He looks to be the new alpha male of the tank other than the big yellow lab. 
but they're doing quite well and, and it makes me really happy to see them out and about. So what's next for this tank is I'm probably going to add some more catfish that look like little sharks other than the petricola I have in here. I think I'm going to add some multipunctatus. Oh, you guys can see the angelicus I have in here. He doesn't come out a lot, but now that there's a lot less hiding places, you can see him a lot more. That shell is pretty large, so I believe he's just been chilling in there. And this is why like, I want to make sure the catfish are comfortable as well. So I might add like a little, not cave, but a overhang for the catfish to sit under because they just kind of like shade in the tank where they can feel safe and swim underneath. All right, so 24 to 48 hours after, there seems to be a lot less aggression. And I just want to give you guys tips on how you can reduce fish aggression, especially with African cichlids in your tanks. The first step would be to rearrange the tank every so often so that no territories can be established too regularly. And then it gives the chance for fish to like reestablish themselves in their hierarchy in the tank. Second one is to remove some of those mean aggressive fish that may be causing problems, whether it's too many males or the ratio between male and females are off because the males oftentimes get hyper aggressive when there's females in the tank and they're trying to impress them so they can spawn. Third one is to add more fish. So you can spread out some of that aggression by adding more of the same species or other fish known as dither fish as well. That could also help to reduce that aggression. Sorry if you're hearing my dog in the background, it's raining and she doesn't like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.